Sorensen's present. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Ryan Sazma. Here. Jerry Jones is excused. Marilyn Montemayor. Here. Dave Hoffman. Here. John Matiska. Here. All right, for everyone present, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Approval of the minutes from our first meeting. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from our June 23rd meeting? Motion and second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. All right. 3.1 application for conditional use with exceptions by Priority Inc. to install. New signage at Stefano's Slow Food Market located at 73, excuse me, 731 Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, Steve. All right. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, what we're taking a look, we have a couple of representatives from uh, Slow Foods Market here today, Priority Sign and Slow Foods. Um, this is the new grocery store that uh, Stefano is opening up at 731 Penn Avenue. Um, we've seen a lot of the architectural improvements. There's a lot of work that's being done on the interior for the grocery. Um, probably about maybe three, four months ago, we approved a cooler. So we've approved the store, the cooler, and now they're looking at the actual signage. And what we're taking a look at um, uh, is seeking approval of a projecting sign, five small non-illuminated secondary copy wall signs, and a decorative snail element on the north elevation of the building. And these signs would be in addition to the uh, current proposed wall sign on the east elevation, which is uh, a wall sign that would be above their entrance on the east side of the building. The intent of this sign package is to help drive awareness of the location and its offerings to visitors to downtown Sheboygan. Stefano and Priority have a long history with Sheboygan and understand the importance of ensuing a display of impactful, tasteful, and long-lasting signage. The proposed uh, projecting, illuminated projecting sign would provide clear visibility to the main store entrance as you come in from the east or west. The push-through copy of the local market closely resembles the individual letters that are preferred in the downtown area. And the construction also matches the wall sign on the east side of the building for consistency and uniformity. Uh, the proposed secondary wall signs are descriptors used to provide clarity to pedestrians of the offerings provided by Slow Food Market. They're smaller in size and tastefully done and in conjunction with the snail wall graphic provide a decorative element to the long blank fascia along Pennsylvania Avenue. The letters are non-illuminated and made of aluminum. They're approximately 10 feet in height and the square footage varies from about two square feet to, four, uh, to five square feet. There's a total of uh, five signs that make up approximately about 17.8 square feet of actual signage. The snail element is a contemporary but yet traditional interpretation of the origin of Stefano's inspiration for the slow food market. The snail adds interest and contrast to the building and complements the secondary copy. The snail is reflected in the main identification signage and will be thoroughly used in the business and marketing efforts. The snail logo is a digitally printed wall graphic applied to the siding. The graphic used for this is a type of application are 3M heated applied graphics with expected performance of eight to 10 years. Um, Stefano and Whitney Viglietta have established a remarkable reputation within the culinary community over the past 25 years. The reputation for quality, uh, responsible business practices and stewardship have established them as a leader in Sheboygan community. And Slow Foods Market mission is to deliver healthy food choices through a community-centric downtown market that supports sustainable, high-quality, local, organic, and globally <laughs> local foods. So a couple things just again, uh, they're looking at five uh, small uh, copy signs and those uh, obviously advertise produce, meats, deli, bakery, and coffee to let everyone knows, know what uh, is being offered at the market. The snail wall graphic is a digitally printed wall graphic applied to the siding and um, the actual graphic calculation itself is about 24 square feet but the dimensions are approximately 274 square feet. 
The projecting sign is approximately 15 square feet, and it's an interior lit advertising sign advertising Stefano's Slow Food mar Local Market. Um, the circular cabinet will have flat faces with digitally printed graphics, and the bottom cabinet has aluminum faces with push-through copy. Um, Plan Commission, we want to ask the applicant a couple of things, uh, just time frame as far as signage to be installed and when the market, uh, you know, what the status is there and when it might open. Um, the metal siding has some rib surfaces, so maybe we just can ask the installer a little bit about the digital graphic. Um, and and it, they mentioned something about eight to ten years, and is there any sort of uh, time frame or idea as to what would happen after that time frame? And then... Uh, Let's see here. Oh, there are a couple of variances. One is uh, being requested to have seven wall signs, uh, requesting to install the 270 square foot uh, snail graphic, requesting to install a 15 uh, square foot projecting sign, and then requesting to install an interior lit projecting sign. Um, and staff was recommending approval of the conditions or of the proposal and the variances, and there's several conditions of approval. I can answer any questions in the applicants that are here as well. Would you like to introduce yourself and yes. add any other commentary? Perfect. I am Tasha. I'm with Priority, um, and we are did the sign drawings, and I've been working uh, with Slow Food and Denise here and everyone um, in order to get this approved. A um, few comments in regards to the snail graphic, and uh, it will be a vinyl, and it, it does have the ribs, um, so we can go inside the ribs. You know, it's a little challenging to get it all in there, but uh, yeah. it, it's not impossible. Um, and the lifespan, uh, basically, it would start to fade after, you know, that eight to ten years. Um, and there's a chance it could start peeling up. Um, and at that point, it would need to be replaced. Um, and that's, you know, just a, an estimate. Uh, as the sun doesn't beat on it too much, we don't get a lot of great sun. So it might not be too bad. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And I am Denise Quashes. I am the store manager for Slow Foods Market. Um, so we are super excited about it. The drywall is going up, and it looks more like a, a store now. Um, so we are just thrilled to be, I think, opening in the next two months, definitely before Ryder Cup. That's the plan. Yeah. Um, so this is just going to be another great downtown destination for the people that live in the local community and for the visitors um, that are coming into the area. So very happy to be here and excited to answer any questions you might awesome. have. Awesome. Any questions from commissioners at all? No questions, but just a comment. Thanks for bringing back a little remembrance of the green sign. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Are there any motions? I make a motion to approve subject to staff recommendations. Second. Motion by Marilyn, second by Trey. Further comments? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next is uh, 3.2 application for conditional use with exceptions by Ranieri's LLC to operate Sheboygan Pasty Company from the detached garage located at 1811 Indiana Avenue. Steve. All right. Thanks, Mayor. John Ranieri is here from uh, Ranieri LLC. Uh, they presently operate um, for a kind tavern in conjunction with the Sheboygan Pasty Company. Um, so they're currently operating four of a kind, the Sheboygan Paskey Company, and there's a restaurant, tavern, rental apartment, and the rental house and storage garage. And so the proposed use of the site consists of converting the detached garage along the alley into a production facility to make pasties for wholesale uh, to grocery stores in the Sheboygan uh, Pasty Company. Um, no retail sales will be done at the facility, only production for retail purposes. Square footage of the garage is about 1,100 square feet, and the production facility is about 720 square feet, and the proposed storage and refrigeration area of that is 432 square feet. Production consists of making and rolling dough, filling the pasties with desired filling, pre-baking them, and refrigerating and freezing them. Equipment used, convection on bur burners to boil water, four compartment sink, um, they would have some hoods and a hood uh, system. Dumpsters, they said, would be uh, interior to the garage facility. They are looking at um, removing the garage door on the west side of the building, and they would be infilling that with siding, a door, and a window. So they're just going to match up uh, uh, the materials of the existing um, garage. 
Uh, the current site was selected due to the adjacency uh, of, you know, they own the property, they have this facility, so they wanted to have the opportunity, and there's commercial buildings, you know, all up and down A Street in this area. Ours operation probably Monday through Friday, 7 to 5 p.m. Uh, currently have three employees and could uh, uh, anticipate that they may have up to five to six employees. Um, there are a couple of just temporary banners located on the uh, on the building. We'll eventually have to deal with getting permanent signage compared to the banners. Um, it's uh, staff's understanding that they're placing the gra uh, garbage in the garage. So if uh, if there was ever any uh, uh, dumpster to be outside, it would just need to be screened and enclosed. And then plan commission may want to have the applicant just address the kind of the improvements to the building that we had talked about. Um, and other than that, staff was recommending an approval of the proposal subject to the conditions you have before I can answer any questions. And John's here as well. John, want to add anything else? Why don't you just turn it off? You're on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, well, we're uh, we're looking to to expand that. We're going into uh, Miesfeld's meat market when they're done with their remodel, um, and actually potentially getting into Stefano's uh, yeah. when they when they open up theirs. And we're currently operating out of the back kitchen at four of a kind, and there's just not enough space to do that. But it's uh, it's a weird niche market that is bringing in a lot of tourism into Sheboygan. I have people driving a hundred miles or more to to come and get pasties because they don't have to drive another hundred miles north to get them. <laughs> uh, I actually met with the Chamber of Commerce earlier today to get a bunch of brochures to hand out because people are coming in and spending the afternoon or the weekend in Sheboygan just to get pasties. Nice. Uh, but we're looking at expanding and get into markets around the state, and uh, this would really help get it that way. We're not uh, changing the exterior of the building other than to make it look better, and uh, we won't be using up any extra parking. Uh, we're going to be bringing jobs to the community also. Cool. Any questions for John? Oh, I see Dave got your... You're going to have to do quite a bit of insulation in the building? It actually, uh, the old owner used to uh, work on antique cars in there. Oh. It's actually insulated. There's electricity run. I have to upgrade the electricity uh, and put in an HVAC system and okay. plumbing. But it, it's already insulated. <laughs> so, Fantastic. Well, the yeah. pasties are great. Keep, keep it up. Awesome. Marilyn, do you have something? Oh, yes, thank you. A new taste treat coming to Sheboygan, pasties. Welsh-style pasties, I imagine. That's what they are, Welsh. Yep, they're, uh, well, Cornish, Welsh, right. um, uh, Upper Peninsula, Michigan, uh, Northern Minnesota. Um, and have you talked to the health department already? And, and yeah. Okay, that's all I was checking on. Thanks. Yeah. All right, any other discussion or motions? Move to approve subject to staff recommendations. I'll second. Motion by Merlin, second by Ryan. Final comments? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Thanks, John. All right, thank you. All right, 3.3, resolution number 2721-22 by Elder Persons Mitchell, pursuant to the extraterritorial plat approval jurisdiction of the city of Sheboygan, approving the final plat of Lincoln Estates subdivision in the town of Sheboygan. Steve, you want this one? Sure, sure. So thanks, Mayor. Um, a couple of things for uh, the new people, uh, new members on the board, is the city does have what's referred to as extraterritorial platting. And what that means is any areas within three miles of the city limits, uh, those areas in the towns have to also receive approval from the city. And that being, the reason for that is oftentimes the states and the statutes and things like that, our cities can annex properties from the towns. And so the idea is if there was something that the city had planned, whether it was a street right away or something else in those areas, that there would at least be this opportunity to review. Say for example, we had some main street that was supposed to go through the center of there, then we could take the opportunity to say, hey, we're not working with you or what have, or, or to work with the applicant to address those types of issues. So that's uh, one of the things that we have. So it's kind of one of the tools we have for annexation and future growth. So in this particular case, this is over by Walmart on the north side. There's none of those things that are occurring. 
Um, it's a, the subdivision kind of uh, on, the, on the map. You can kind of see where that is. And this is a, a subdivision in plat in the town. And so they're at, they have to come in, receive approval from us. And so staff is going to recommend approval of this particular subdivision. Awesome. Questions from anyone? Motions from anyone? Motion by Dave, second by Trey. Any final discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? To your vote, aye. That's approved. Next meeting, July 27th. Hey, Mayor, would I be able to interject something real quick? Yeah. Um, as uh, many of you know, Don Svitan had passed away, mm -hmm. and um, he had served on the plan commission for several years and was uh, and the Board of Appeals. And you know, did like Lakeshore for the kids, and DNM Plumbing was uh, um, around for many years. So, uh, just wanted to acknowledge the civil service that he had provided to the city of Sheboygan, and sorry for his uh, loss to his family. Thank you, Steve. Chad. So, one final comment as we transition out of COVID for the. Planning Commission members, all of the meetings now will be in person. There will not be any more um, go-to meeting unless we get a request from committee members three days in advance for a remote meeting and 24 hours in advance from the public. So um, going forward, we hope that you can join us in person and we can get back to some normalcy with the meetings, but the council approved a revised policy. So going forward, we will not be having televised meetings and or go to meetings uh, unless requested. One more, Steve. sorry about that. And I, I, I forgot to include uh, former Mayor Ryan as well, um, acknowledged uh, his passing and, and our condolences to his family, so. Thanks for that. All right. Done. That's it. <laughs> I know. Got I'm me. waiting for a Got motion. <laughs> There's been a motion to adjourn by Trey. Second. Second by Ryan. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We're adjourned at 417. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>